So we've been dealing with finding all of those probabilities, but now what we're going to be doing is working backwards. So given the probability, can we find the corresponding value of z in this case? So we're going back to the standard normal distribution, and we need to find these missing values. And I'm going to explain what these mean. So, number one, uh, we've got the property of z being less than a is 0 0.6. So what does that mean? So if we draw one of the standard normal distributions, like so, what it's saying is that there is a value along here, a, so that the probability to the left of a is 0 0.6. So if we were slap bang in the middle, the probability to the left is 0 0.5. So in order to be 0 0.6, it's got to be a little bit further along. Oh, so that's the value A that I want to find. And this region has an error of 0 0.6. So on my calculator, what I do is I go to Menu, and then I go to Number 7 again, as I normally would. But this time, rather than going to Number 2, you want to go to Number 3, Inverse Normal. The area, the op first option, is the probability that you have, that you've shaded, which is the 0 0.6. The sigma is 1, OK, square root of 1. And the mean is 0. Press equals. And so A, you should get as 0 0.2533 to four decimal places. Right, so. For number two, there's zero. So the probability of less than b is 0 0.87. So b would have to be somewhere over here in order for the probability to the left to be 0 0.87. So if I press the equals, I get back to the option. Change the property now to 0 0.87, so the error is 0 0.87. Press equals 1.126. Uh, let's go to four decimal places. So 1.1264 to four decimal places. So I'm consistent. OK. Right, number three. Right, so C is somewhere along here. So the property to the left is 0.3. So that would mean it would have to be down here somewhere in order for the, that property to be that small. OK. So going back into the area, change that to 0 0.3. And we get negative 0 0.5244 to four decimal places. Right, last one. So, probably z being less than d is 0.02, so 0.02 is all the way down here, if that's d. So, I just need to go back into the option, change the error to 0.02, and we get minus 2.0537 to four decimal places. Okay, and so that's how we can find these values on the Casio classwords.